We're back, everybody. You're watching an all morning show right here on TTT. Glad you're tuning in. And I'm going to chat with Chromatics himself, and we're going to speak about a few things um, that recently developed, including the grind on Next 99.1. No, no. All right, so uh, morning, and thank you for being here this morning. Yeah, it's so a um, tell me about the grind itself, like the radio show it started recently. What is yeah. it all about? Well, initially, I actually had the program on Next a few years ago, I mean, even since 2008 is when we right. really started it, but it was more focused towards hip hop. It was a three hour show, um, but within that, we would play strictly local hip hop and R&B artists in the first hour. Right. Um, and just looking at the climate of Trinidad and Tobago and all the music that is happening outside of the carnival season, to me, it was important to be a little more all inclusive. Right. Right. Um, so we, I started back the show this Monday, we launched, um, and it's all urban. So right. no matter the genre within that format, so reggae, dancehall, hip hop, R and B, soca, rap. So we mean by urban in that sense. Well, I think urban is a format. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. With, with those genres that I just call out usually fall into that category. Right. 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 So dancehall, reggae, hip hop, rap. You know, soca, all of, all of the above. So our focus is to give a little more exposure to the artists who are making great, incredible music, and producers in Trinidad and Tobago who are making incredible music and not getting a chance for the music to be heard. Yeah, that's right. It's really so good it's to three hours well. of strictly TNT music. I don't strictly want to say TNT. local. Right. I want to say TNT music. So yeah. it's the very, the, the very best of TNT music every Monday night, 6 to 9, on Next 99. That's yeah. awesome, you know, because um, the you see the genres you have mentioned, mm -hmm. there's not really, uh, before this, there was not really a open platform that, you know, the artists, the local artists, mm -hmm. the TNT artists could um, could showcase their work and showcase all the, the great things that they're doing, yeah. um, you know, because people uh, in Trinidad and Tobago are generally more attuned to, like, you know, Soka, Calypso, Chutney. And well, um, I wouldn't say that. Generally, because generally. nine months out of the year, that's not the case. Right. You right. know, we are bombarded with hip-hop, dancehall, R&B, all these other forms of music and genres of music. This is what Agreed. is forced down our throat. Yeah, but right? you know, but as always, and then we, and then international we, artists. And then, and then we want to ask the youths and them, why are you singing dancehall and why are you singing hip hop when yeah. that's all they hear right. on the radio, majority of the year. Yeah, right? that's right. So to me, it's, it's, it's a platform for the people who are influenced by that and are making really good music. Yeah, you know, when, when nobody else cares, we do. Yeah. Yeah. So how many um, artists have you come across in Trinidad thus far um, you know, doing that urban style you're talking about? The first week, as I say, which is Monday, going right. our launch. First submission, we've only been promoting it um, for a week before. Right. And got 140 songs in the first week that I had to sift through and go through and yeah. decipher, all right, what's good, uh, what I think will be suitable, because we want to present the best quality work as, as possible, because people right. have this interpretation of his local as not of yeah, it's not high, of, high quality, yeah, etc., exactly. which is far from the truth. Uh, I think we've come a long way, even since when I used to, used to have a grind, I think that artists have come a long way. Technology has come a long way where you can get a really good product from a small studio or even a bedroom studio now. Yeah. So, you know, as I say, it's, it's the, the, the response has been overwhelming from both That's listenership awesome. and from the artists themselves. So to the artists out there, if you're interested, or producers, or you know anybody, you can submit the music to the grind at chromaticsmusic.com. That's the email address. Is the grind T H E G R I N D at chromaticsmusic.com. Make sure to radio edit it because I know editing it for you. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you know, we want to make sure it's clean yeah. for the radio. Most All nice. right. And um, you know, something recently happened in the um, international hip hop industry mm -hmm. um, the passing of Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was a really, it was something that I, I learned that affected quite a number of people, even like one of my very close friends. Yeah. Um, he expressed his sadness over what had transpired. Yeah. and stuff and you know it speaks to things like gun violence and and you know um gang violence as well in mm. in the international music industry hip hop yeah. industry specifically yeah. you know um what what are your thoughts on that i think it's really really tragic because if you knew the artist and what he was doing not just in music you would realize that he was a very different a very forward thinking artist Although associated with that sort of lifestyle, he kept close to his roots and street life. But he was very business-minded, uh, entrepreneur. He had his, he, I mean, he got killed in front of his own store, yeah. right, in LA. Um, but I have been following his career for years, and he's someone who was very inspirational and always pushed the envelope when it came to business. Yeah. He was the first artist that ever put out an album for 100 US. Right. Right? And yeah. people were questioning why or how, why would you even do that? 
etc yeah. etc et and and, and it really broke the mold um his last album which to me was the best hip-hop album of last year 2018 was nominated for a grammy right um so he was doing a lot of good things and positive and things and pushing the envelope and, it, and it's really sad of and employing people and employing people from his community so it's, it's, it's really tragic in that you sense know. yeah um chromatic song thank you for joining us this morning yeah, and of thank course you. um how can we actually get in contact with the grind again the grind at chromaticsmusic.com Right? That's T H E G R I N D, chromatics. You know, I'm going to spell it. You can Google that if you don't know how to Google, uh, spell that, right? The grind at chromaticsmusic.com. Or right. just hit me up on Instagram at chromaticsmusic. The, my email address and my contact number is there, so you can always hit me up. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank this you. Morning. I wish you the best um, for the grind. Yeah, in All right. I want to do a song. You want to do a song? And, and get it featured on the grind. Why the grind? Where, where did the, the name come from? Well, I mean, as I said, I initially started the program years ago. Yeah. And just from me being my, my own entrepreneur, it's about that. And it's about the struggle. It's waking up every day and grinding. That's es essentially it. Getting up every day and then your hustle on, being motivated to work hard. That's it. Because this music industry is a grind. Yeah. You yeah. get it? It's something so, yeah. tough. So all the very best. Remember, Mondays, 6 to 9 p.m. Check it out. It's the grind.